uppercut, uppercut, Sonic Boom! Why do we hot drop? How can you improve your hot drops? What are some of the hot drop tactics that you can put into your gameplay, both for squads and solos? Uh, that's what we're going to talk about in this video, because there is an awful lot of stuff that goes on with hot dropping that, I mean, it's it's an art. It really is. It's an art and it's a science, because you have to map your way out a lot of your problems. You have to figure out who's on different squads. What are the best angles to take? Should you push? Should you wait? What kind of gear have they got? What's, what's the best move based on all the information at hand? So let's get to it. Um, why do we hot drop? Well, we hot drop because it's fun. We hot drop because there is a great release of endorphins when you manage to pull off something crazy or you survive something that you didn't think you were going to survive. Like this is the razor's edge. You get a gun, he gets a gun, you have one shot to hit and you hit that shot and you end up winning the game. And this is another thing I want to talk about. Quite often you'll drop and you will play against the best players in the lobby right at the start of the game in the hot drop. So let's talk a little bit about the tactics, the science of it. If you're in a squad, try to stay connected. Uh, you'll see I move towards Mr. Ouija. He is getting hammered. He doesn't have a lot of ammo, a lot of health left. I come and hit the guy behind him. He's getting into him. And then he clears the target that's coming up to me. This is good, solid squad gameplay. Fancy's great and it makes good in Instagram clips or TikTok videos or YouTube shorts. And I love those because I'm a content creator. But if I'm honest and I'm playing genuinely with my teammates, then being connected is more important. Secondly, um, a lot of people don't hot drop because they're worried about losing rank. I understand that. It's not a problem for me. Uh, but for you, that might be something that's a real worry for you. Play quick matches. Quick matches are so good for this kind of game to play. and especially if you're a newer player and you're just getting involved with it most of the player base that's playing quick matches generally isn't that great all the really good players are going to go and play big classic matches on Erin or Miramar this is this is where most people will run around and that means that if you care about your rating and it, I'll be honest like it doesn't matter to me but when I first started playing the game it kind of mattered to me and that's the case for you then just go and jump into a quick match and do some hot dropping solo squatting or as a squad and learn this kind of stuff with the safety net without having to be judgy and blame based and saying you why didn't you revive me and all this kind of stuff this is these are things that you can get out of the way very very quickly um once you graduate from that kind of gameplay you can go and do a lot of stuff but i solo squad quite often when i'm hot dropping for the simple reason that this is where you get the most action. I will also put out there that this teaches you so much about the game. You have to track multiple targets and multiple different squads and multiple engagements. I walk out of this hot drop with about 17 kills just from this little area here because there are a bunch of squads that dropped and look at all the crates, crates bloody everywhere because there are a bunch of squads that dropped and I picked them clean off the edges. I just kept hitting the edges getting a knock working away um, like and be aggressive with it also note that because i'm solo squatting i'm running a double automatic <coughs> sorry ak and vector this is a killer this is a killer combo you want to run double auto it gives you the ability to, to you know handle multiple targets at any one time the thing that this really does do for you and i'll be honest is when it's a late game, sometimes your squad's going to die and it's going to be you versus the world. And if you've dropped a lot, you're going to be a lot less stressed about this kind of gameplay than you would otherwise. You're going to be a lot more comfortable taking those kind of engagements. I mean, that's probably not telling you anything you don't know. Um, but it is something you've got to get used to and it will help you uh, tremendously as a player. Anyway, where the hell was it? So we know why we hot shot. It's fun. And it trains us for, for winning uh, winning games. That's great. That's the meta. Let's talk about the science. If you get a weapon, ram it down their throats. Um, one of the things that you can see me doing here is is connecting up with Killam. Killam has someone on him and I'm connecting up. You have to communicate. You have to talk and you have to work together. And I got a gun. Killam's got a gun. So I come down here and push Killam's the guy that was on Killam. And we end up getting the win. 
there is a fine line and this is a real decision tree that you have to get used to make these kind of calls like am i pushing or am i holding generally you want to be aggressive because otherwise like why drop mill base if you're going to sit in a corner and hold it i've had people do that to me mill base in hacienda del patron you're dropping these places contest also look at my ammo i am red on two guns 245 caliber guns if you can switch to two separate ammo source weapons uh, unless you have an awful lot of one set of ammo and you have to always 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 watch your ammunition on these hot drops so many times you'll get stuck with nothing left in the tank and it's hard hard not to do like it's not that you're doing it on purpose but you really have to adjust plus you'll learn to play with pretty much every weapon under the sun sometimes you need a pistol it improves your gameplay it makes you a better player it improves everything about your tactical mindset also, it's your responsibility to overlook teammates, okay? People are going to get knocked. Get them up and defend. Like, it's your job may be to make sure that no one is pushing your teammates. It may be to get the revive. Talk about it in your comms. Like, my revive, my heal. Do you need a med kit? Uh, these kind of things are absolutely crucial. Hot dropping is Darwinian. When you hot drop and you win you get all their stuff. And eventually you come out of the hot drop and you're the squad that's pushing down to the guys who've been camping and building forever. Yet you've got full level two, level three gear. You've got double ARs. Uh, and I must stress, if you find a car 98 or something, that's great. You know how much I love bolt action sniper rifles, but I will quite often just leave them alone when the game starts rather than walk around with a car 98 and a UMP when I could be running a UMP and an AKM because the AKM is going to be far more helpful on a weapon switch. Ram home your advantage. If you hit someone, look, sure, they might find armor, a med kit, an AR, all that kind of stuff in one room. But they might not. And that means if you get an advantage by getting a couple of hits with a Deagle, that's a 60 base damage in your chest weapon. The odds that this guy is just hiding in that room with like a shotgun or something, waiting for me to come through the door because it's his last option. You've got to, you've got to run that. You've got to run that table. Use it to your advantage and get the job done. Ram your advantage home every time on a hot drop. Another thing is about where you're dropping. I will drop in duos and solos, especially a lot of places that I would not drop in squads. Like I don't drop squads at school. There's not enough loot there. But there is an awful lot of loot at school for a duo or a solo situation. This gets a lot more activity as well. The meta at the moment while I'm playing on the DNA server is an, a heap of stuff in apartments and school. And Rosok too will sometimes get filthy hot drops for no reason. I don't understand why you drop Rosok, but a lot of people do. And that's their prerogative. You've got to constantly move. Your resource management is everything. You've got to track all the stuff that's going on around you as well. You can hear apartments. There's a lot of stuff going on in apartments. I'm actually making weapon decisions. What am I going to pick up? What am I going to put down? I know there's at least two other guys. Uh, this is a solos game. And I'm going to hear auto as I rotate out of the auditorium here. And that immediately draws me back. Because early game is your opportunity, especially in places. There it goes, full auto. Like leaving someone alive over in apartments when you've got the chance as they loot to clear them off is that can be breaking breaking the game that the leave that guy in apartments and he will sit there all game holding that angle i mean look at this there's people bloody everywhere <laughs> just it's absolutely ridiculous um and this is school and people tell you that this this kind of stuff isn't a hot drop you also get to choose and work your way up as to hot dropping and soft dropping you get to make all those decisions yourself, but I would challenge you to go and do more of this. The gameplay, the sweat, the holding angles, it's its all, I think that guy's a lot. Um, it's, it's all well and good, but look, you need to get better at the game. The best way you can get better at the game is to force yourself to make decisions in a cascading tree of chaotic, absolute poop. And that's what a hot drop is. It, it lends itself to making you a better player. Thank you so much for watching. If I could, would you please subscribe to the channel and like the video? 
I mean, as long as you think that the channel and the videos are worth watching. Um, and we'll be making a lot more content. There's some really big things going on in the PUBG Mobile universe and the surrounding mobile gaming universe at the moment. So we won't be missing out on those. I did draw the winner last night of the uh, Red Magic 6 Pro telephone. It's going to be going out in the next day or two. Uh, I've got the address, all that sorted. There are more giveaways. We're going to be giving away uh, a lot of stuff on channel over the next couple of weeks. So don't Until next time, look after yourself. Stay safe in the battlefield.